here's another thing we don't quite understand yet in neuroscience. I'm not sure we'll understand all of it if it's intercalated with language. That's belief, okay? Religious belief. Now, you know there are scientists who feel fiercely about this. No God, right? There have been a lot of books recently about this. But human beings, from belief in the solvability of a quadratic equation to belief in God, there's a, all that kind of stuff. And that depends upon emotional satisfaction and learning and social areas we don't control, etc., etc. So, uh, what can we say? I mean, rephrase your question, would be what I would say. What is your question, actually? Personally, with all you know, um, do you still hold to any spiritual belief? Well, I do hold to this. But what is very clear that no two brains are ever alike. In the history of the universe, they never will be, given what we said about the numbers. Now, that's number one. If I connect that up to the satisfactions of your value system of the things in you that release neurotransmitters, etc., there is a sort of feeling that the story must have a sensible ending, right? Of course, now comes a belief. For example, in my case, I believe that when I die, nothing. The anesthesiologist already gave me a, a, a chance. If I'm not conscious, I'm not there. The idea that something would go upstairs to be greeted in heaven is not one I entertain. But if someone says to me that the placebo effect, which is a beautiful medical example of belief, the placebo effect is unreal, they're wrong. If a person is dying and he says to me as a doctor, why is my body doing this to me? Am I going to tell him, you are your body? Uh, no, I'm going to say something reassuring to him, aren't I? Because he doesn't want to encounter the idea that this story ends, bang. No? And we know that if you give a medicine that doesn't exist as a placebo, you say, this is going to cure X, we know that what happens is you release opioid receptors, you release uh, dopamine, all the reward. There's real consequences of that. That's a form of almost bodily belief, isn't it? Right. So we don't live without belief. Now that, of course, certain, has certain consequences. One of which is called religious war. But uh, why should one deny what is in fact the case of the way our body responds and the way we've evolved? The only problem is how do you control it so it isn't too disastrous for the human race? But uh, to go into spiritual matters uh, as such, that comes from another direction, doesn't it? It comes from the, the generalization in religion of all of this. And, uh, of course, a lot of scientists are atheists. They just don't believe in it, right? But I bet you they have a placebo effect. If you ask me about my personal belief, I believe that once I'm gone, I'm gone, and that's the end of that. Now, that can be very disappointing to certain people, right? And you can't use a promissory note, but there are certain religions where they say, if you, when you die, you go into a better place, etc., etc. This is, science has nothing to say about that. I think, uh, what can you say? And to, it's a little humorless to insist that someone get rid of all of that, right? If it's useful to them, well, okay. Now I know what their answer is. No, it's not because look what's happening in the world today because of religious belief. But yeah. On the other hand, we are what we are.